alternator man here. What you're looking at is the, what we call our 7130 uh, iceberg alternator conversion kit. Uh, this is the kit for the CS130 alternator. Uh, this was used on GM vehicles from about uh, 1990 or 1987-88 area all the way up to 96-97 depending on the model vehicle. Um, some of those years were transition years where they used the CS or the 12SI, 10SI. Then after that, they went to the CS130D. Uh, GM developed this alternator as a throwaway alternator. They never intended for this alternator to be repaired. But the one good thing about it is it's a really nice, small, compact alternator. So there's a lot of them out there and hot rods and different things like this. And it's a good alternator. If, you, if you've got a later GM truck with a snowplow or something, you'd want to upgrade to the CS144. But there's a lot of people that still are using this alternator. They had a big problem with this alternator, and that's what this kit is for. The 7130 kit uh, does not come with a stator. We have the 7140 kit, which also which comes with a 140 amp upgrade stator. What you get is the, the little black plastic cover for the back here. You get a top quality bridge rectifier. This has a diode to convert AC to DC. You've got your uh, heat transfer compound that goes between the rectifier and the housing. Your tolerance ring, your two bearings. Uh, these are stator lead extenders and if you cut your stator leads off right you don't need these but basically if you cut your stator leads off you need to extend them. You got your brush holder with brushes in it. You got the uh, retaining clip that holds the bearing in. You got your rear insulator and then you have what we call our iceberg finned rear housing. The thing about this housing is, is uh, this is GM's departure from their SI series. Their SI series had a uh, air-cooled bridge rectifier in it. Uh, these rectifiers get hot as they convert to AC current to DC current. And what, so what, the, what they've done is you take this heat transfer compound, you put it on here, and then this goes down into the housing and presses against this and what it's uh, supposed to do is when the when the rectifier heats up it dumps all of its heat into the rear housing right in this area on a standard CS130 you can see it doesn't have the fins on the back of it so GM had a tremendous amount of trouble with this overheating and getting into the bearing and then you have bearing failure with the CS130 iceberg uh, 7130 it's got the patent pending housing that's got the fins just adjacent to where the rectifier goes to help dissipate that heat away. We've had really good luck with this kit. Uh, the only alternator that this will not work on of the CS130 family is this one with the tab sticking out on it. Uh, this, this alternator, this housing doesn't have a tab on it and will only fit. Now this one's off of a, oh this was off of, I think we looked up a 95 GMC 5.7 that's what that CS130 the, the real common one out there that's the most common but like I said if you have this housing it, it will not work on this one we don't have an iceberg uh, housing uh, the fin housing with the one with a tab on it this is a great product it's the 7130 or the 7140 kit we're gonna have another video showing you how to install this later